Hello YouTube, it's time for yet another Way to Go Day book review. And this time the book I'm going to be reviewing is a book that I read many, many, many moons ago, probably about three quarters of a year ago. It's called uh, The Postcard Killers by James Patterson and Liza Markland, who is a Swedish author. Uh, James Patterson being an American author. I've read quite a few of James Patterson's books and I like his writing. I think he's very good at building up tension. I think he's very good at, at captivating the audience. My biggest thing that I want to point out with this book is that you've got two people writing it. It seemed to me like James was writing one of the chapters and he was going, here you go, passing it to Liza or Lisa or have you say her name. And she was writing the second one, passing it back. And the difference between the chapters um, was very, very striking. And not just in kind of like, you know, what happened in the chapters, but in the style of writing. And I really didn't like that because the second I was actually getting somewhere into the book, that'd be taken away from me. And the fact that it was changing quite regularly because the chapters are quite short in the book it just didn't captivate my attention it kind of at times got it so there's an american nypd officer named jacob cannon who is traveling europe trying to hunt down um these murderers killers who killed his daughter and they killed a number of other people and they leave clues as to kind of you know almost a chase uh, in postcards and they send the postcards to um a news reporter Desi Larson, so she's a Swedish reporter, and they go on this jolly old drawn to find the killers, and to be honest with you, I don't know if they do find the killers. I'll read the last. Half a dozen cops stumbled through the haze to where they'd last seen the bomb thrower, but the ghost was gone, disappeared into thin air. Um, oh no, that's, oh, that's a bit from a different book. Let's read the end of this one. Mr. Krebs, I've heard a lot about you. Desi and Jacob's friend shook hands. Nothing but crap, I hope. Desi smiled at Jacob. From a romantic guy like this, what do you expect? Oh, there's even a picture of both of them. There you go. This is the two of them together. Isn't it nice? I know I'm treating this like a little bit of a joke, but just I was really disappointed by this book. Um, as I said, the main reason is um, the difference in writing styles. For me, I couldn't develop a character empathy. I found the character conversations were short. There was no build-up. And often they would say a point that kind of made no sense at all. Obviously, they brought in some sexual chemistry, but they brought it in without any real build-up. You know, she hated him at one point, and then there was the flirting going on afterwards. And it's just a bit like, meh, meh. Um, and it's really disappointing, because the story... I really really like the fact that you've got this guy who is trying to hunt down the murder of his daughter and uh, his daughter's fiance and you know they're traveling across Europe they deliver um, you know, come, come, come find me kind of things in postcards I love that idea it's kind of reminds me of Taken a little bit get Liam Neeson to play get Liam Neeson to play Jacob Cannon this as on the basis is a fantastic idea. I still reckon it could probably make a really, really fantastic movie. The writing is what lets it down. And I don't often feel like that with, with books, actually. I think kind of it's, it's a little bit similar to the London Train book. Um, it, it's kind of, I kind of made the same point there, that the way the storyline was developed wasn't as good as it could be. And that's really the case with this book. If you guys have read it, because I know James Patterson especially is a very, very... Uh, famous author a lot of people read all of his books and um, I've seen this book on the shelf in the last year quite a bit so it'll be really interesting to see what um, what other people think so all in all guys I'm going to give uh, the postcard killers by James Patterson and Lisa Markland uh, four out of ten all right guys I hope to see you again soon until next time ta -ra.